All right, I guess it's just one of those days. Um, I just got done posting uh, Facebook Live, realizing that I had um, set the audience to only me. So uh, I'm going to give this another shot, and um, it's always helpful to do it a second time anyway. So um, as you most of you know, I, uh, my wife and I, Amanda, and I have five kids. And uh, pretty consistently in our home, there's a uh, there's a fight uh, at the table for that last bit of uh, dessert, or that last hot dog, or that last um, bit of mac and cheese, or mashed potatoes, or whatever it is that everyone likes. And pretty consistently, being the um, selfish sovereign dad that I am, I think in my mind, I paid for that food. I'm the dad. I'm bigger than all of you. I should get the last cookie. You know, I should get that last um, fill in the blank. And because uh, I have I have every right to it. And uh, I would say that um, most of the time uh, I am uh, good about uh, at least sharing it with the kids. But uh, there have been many times when um, I'm pretty selfish, and I'm like, no, I want that, so I'm going to eat it. Can I have every right to do to have that? And uh, I think that in today's culture right now, I think we're all so tempted and struggling with the fact that we have every right to do what we think should happen. Well, we have right now a lot of um, inc- just incredible opportunity to disagree on so many different issues. Um, in fact, I was going to um, share with you just uh, some thoughts from our scripture reading, but God laid this on my heart instead because of the, the situation we're in as a culture today. I mean, we, um, we're, we're in the middle of a pandemic, and there is no unity on how to um, respond to it. Masks or no masks, meeting or no meetings. Um, what should um, presidents and governors and school boards and there's just so many different decisions that need to be made and so many different opinions. Um, we're in the middle of a very unique time when it comes to race and we've got protesting and what's the role of government in all of that and should they be reparations or not and should there be, I mean it's just incredible intense things that are happening all around us and We have a presidential election that obviously only comes around every four years, and it is very, very intense on uh, what should happen and and, uh, opinions everywhere. And uh, I've just, in my lifetime, I've never seen such a, um, uh, a commitment to me, 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 my rights, my opinion, what, what I think is best for me and for my family. And uh, over the last couple of weeks, I've just, my, my heart has been very unsettled. Even as I, I work with, uh, even as our church, I see uh, social media posts where, I guess for, for two things they stand out. One just not helpful, but but downright hurtful in our commitment to what we think is best. And I'm just going to share just a couple minutes here of from, from Philippians chapter 2. Um, I just got a text from Tom saying that the uh, quality is down a little bit, so I apologize for that. I'm not exactly sure what's happening. Um, good old Facebook. But in uh, Philippians 2, Paul's writing to to the Philippians. Uh, the church at Philippi, and he's like, hey, hey guys, as your spiritual leader, here's, here's how you can really encourage me, is if you're of the same mind, if you've got the same love, if you are being in full, in full accord and of one mind. He's saying, as a people of God, would you be unified? And, and he, then he describes how to be unified. And I want you to listen very carefully to this. And I'm just asking that you be open to the Holy Spirit showing you some areas in your life that you might need to change. Paul says to do nothing, do nothing from selfish ambition 
or conceit. That's a temptation for all of us to say, me, 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 what's best for me, what's best for my family, what's best for my community, me, 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 me. And then we take a step further and have that conceit. Uh, I've never seen such uh, arrogance and such um, pride that everyone thinks, I know what's best, I know what's best, I know what's best, and we got to try to convince everyone else. And there is, this is complex. I've never seen that. I mean, the, the, you know, dealing with a pandemic is incredibly complex. How do we think we know that everything is going, that, that our way is the best way? And Paul says, do, do nothing self, from selfish ambition or conceit, but in humility, count others more significant than yourselves. It's a matter of uh, saying my way, I, I, I might not know everything, so I'm going to be humble about it. And I'm actually going to look at other people and think they're more important than I am. And that leads us in verse 4 to say, let each of you look not only to his own interests, but also to the interests of others. I'm just challenging you. Are your actions, your words, with those around you, maybe it's your workplace, maybe it's your community, your neighborhood, but I'm going to specifically hone in on social media. We have all have keyboard courage. It is so much easier to just post something that we don't even stop to think how hurtful that could be to somebody else. Now, as I kind of started this out, you have every right to do that. We all have every right free speech. We live in a great country to be able to do that. But is that going to be helpful? Is that going to be encouraging to those around you? And would you would you say those things that you put on social media directly to the, your brothers and sisters in Christ who have a different perspective than you? I mean, conversation is one thing, but social media is not an effective means of communication. And so I'm just kind of calling us all out and saying a time out here is, should we be doing some, some things differently because of a passage like this? And, and the, the truth is, we actually have an example, uh, somebody who's, telling, who's shown us how to do this, and that's Jesus. Because verse 5 says, have this mind among yourselves, which is yours in Christ Jesus. And it goes down in verses 6 through 11, describing how, you know, he... He was actually a, uh, he had every right to, uh, it says, do not count equality with God a thing to be grasped, but he emptied himself and took the form of a servant, servant that led to his death on a cross for your sin and for my sin. He gave up his rights. And, and I think he is the example for that. So I just want to encourage you, just think through what is, what is God telling you? What, uh, what are you going to do about a verse like this? Are there things in your life, specifically the way you're communicating with others, where you're doing it out of selfish ambition, or you're doing it out of conceit and arrogance, and you're not counting others as more significant than yourselves? Because that's just not the American way. Uh, I think we have to be counter-cultural with this. So wrestle through it. If I can encourage you, help you in some way, uh, you let me know. So have a great rest of the week. We'll chat another time. What are you going to do about it?